Oh my god. There's the free if though, eh? Yeah, yeah. This uh, project name is Bhalo Gajar Hotel. Yeah, but is it not risky to sit there? We made it. Bro, we made it. Ah, at last. Going back, so maybe we have to come tomorrow. We have to find Sunny. Dhaka traffic. Oh my god. Hey, man. Very close, but can meet because of the traffic. Yeah, I was there. You are here. Yeah. We made it, bro. <laughs> We're moving. We're moving. Man, Ramadan day number ten. Did you see the video yesterday of Sabri and me freeing the duck? To be honest, I can get the time because we did a very hectic day yesterday. When Sanim is not in the videos, he never watches the videos. <laughs> then he doesn't care. There. This one. I think somewhere here, uh, maybe this one because uh, this is called Bhagavad Hotel, like in this place. Okay, so, but what are we even doing today and what are we looking for? Uh, you have to tell the people. Actually, we are looking for uh, those good people who is just giving iftar to other people. Uh, for free? For free. So yeah. there are different places in Dhaka where you can go and you get iftar for free. Yeah. And today we want to find those places. Yeah. And this is the first place Sunny brought me. Yeah. Maybe I don't know that much places. Maybe people can help you to find those places. Like I know two or three places. Yeah, if you know more places, you can write them in the comments. But today we go to those places Sadim knows. But yeah, the first place is this. Yeah. And there's nothing, man. Uh, yeah, there will be something, I, I'm telling you. But there is also one hour left for the Iftar. So I think they, they will come between. Okay, so what should we do in this hour? Okay, let's find something like if, uh, where is there? <laughs> okay, what did they say? Uh, this, uh, see, some people is already waiting. So I think in one hour, uh, many people, see, 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 they're already giving the food. Ah, this is it or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what did they say? They said they will uh, come here by taking food very soon. Oh, yeah. So I, we have so some volunteers there. See? Ah. There's the free after, eh? Yeah, yeah. You can talk to the volunteers and yeah, see yeah, what sure. they're doing. Eh? Yeah. What is it? Birani, eh? Maybe. Uh, I don't know, but maybe some food. like. <laughs> and uh, water and the juice, eh? Yeah, water and the juice. You know what? then it doesn't matter it's biryani or anything like you have to eat right this uh, project name is Bhalo Gajar Hotel Bhalo Gajar Hotel means uh, restaurant for good work Bhalo Gajar Hotel is a place where we are going to eat and we are going to eat every day Bhalo Gajar Hotel is a place where we are going to eat and Bhalo Gajar Hotel is a place where we are going to eat they will give food for one time poor people in return of doing some good work but there is the street why do they put it here next to the street yeah. They put it for the iftar. Yeah, but <laughs> we put it for the iftar. When it's, uh, yeah, when it's iftar time, then people will come and sit there. Like so, people also sit in there sometimes. So. Yeah, but is it not risky to sit there and uh, everybody is driving here? Why is this the perfect place? Uh, because maybe there is no suitable place, I guess. Like you saw the how much crowd and everywhere. So maybe they don't have that much option. Sometimes I see like people taking food over there. Yeah, so okay, nice. Maybe the only option. Yeah, we can come back at 6, 10 and then we see how they sit here, right? Yeah, 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 sure. Because, <laughs> like, I think it's pretty dangerous, eh? How many days around? We have to go to the house for 2,000 days. Okay. Is there a shop? No, it's not. It's a place where we have to go to the house. It's a place where we have to go to the city. In total, Dhaka city, they have 10 places where they give iftar. And in every day, they arrange, their arrangement is for 2,000 people. Oh, nice. Okay, can we help? Can we help? Can we help? Can we help? Yeah, yeah, sure. okay. yeah, if we want, then we can help. Hmm. Okay, if they need, I don't think they need help, but... <laughs> yeah, we can help like voluntary. We can do some voluntary work. It's always good for the camera, huh? <laughs> no. no, we are real. We are real. They obviously don't need help, but... <laughs> we can do some volunteer like them. Okay. You also volunteer, huh? Can I, can I look in one box what's inside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is what they get. Oh, dry date, uh, kichuri, and murgi, eh? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's nice. The classic dry, the dry date, and the kichuri, and the murgi. Man, it looks looks delicious, eh? Maybe they have something more like. And also this, 
little sweets, eh? and of course water and juice. Eh? What is it? Mango juice? Yeah, something like this. Nice. How many packages they have here? Only at this location? Yes, they have to, uh, 10 points. According to the dividation rules, I think there is around 200 or 300, something like this. At this location here? Yeah, yeah. 200 people? Yeah. And we can count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah. <laughs> but it's a lot. And look at this beautiful location. <laughs> Meal for good work. Usually they sit on that side, but for the rain and everything, that's why they keep it in here. Ah, that's why they went under the bridge, eh? yeah, yeah? Because today it's rainy in Bangladesh. Yeah. It's so it's still super hot, but it's rain. rainy, man. Rain in Bangladesh is super nice. So they're preparing more packages. And what is the name of this location here? Because maybe some of our viewers uh, also don't have enough money to uh, buy a nice iftar. Yeah. Um, but who can come here? Location here is uh, Shatrasta. Uh -huh. And here the card, they say they have also some sh uh, also some branches in Komulapur, Kauran Bazar, uh, Bonani Kodail, Kilgao. Maybe you can show the card. I think if anyone can come, they have the full addresses here. Uh, you cannot read that, I think. Which people are allowed to come here? Uh, like those do, who don't have money or uh, can take food. Any, anyone. Okay, perfect. Beep. Beep. And now we go to the next stop. Eh? Yeah. Where is that? That is called uh, Bashabo Buddha Mandir. It's basically a Buddhist temple's place. A Buddhist temple? Yeah. A Buddhist temple is giving away free iftar for yeah. Ramadan. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that sounds... Doesn't make sense to me. Sounds nice. Yeah, we have to check that out, obviously. Ooh. Oh, and by the way, we have very, very, very bad news. Our last video where we've been to Chok Bazaar, it got 5,000 likes. And we said if it gets 5,000 likes, we will go live on Facebook and go there again. Yeah. So we have to go there again. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next day we will go live on Facebook at Chok Bazaar. So if you want to see that, go on Facebook and uh, follow Steve Long. Steve Long, bye. <laughs> and they may suggest us what should we show them in Chok Bazaar. Oh yeah, and you can write in the comments what we should do there. Like, what do you want to see? What should we eat? And yeah, and then you can follow the madness. And of course, don't forget to like this video, of course. Not <laughs> moving, man. <laughs> You think we can make it? I'm not sure. Like, if traffic uh, stay like this, then uh, the whole 10 minutes road will take more than one hour. Oh my god. And if Sanim says that, that's always a bad sign. Normally, he always says, yeah, man, of course we can do it. I'm the fastest bike of Bangladesh. <laughs> See, it's on the flyover. Then, what's the situation under it? You There's already it. traffic on the flyover. Sanim doesn't want to ride in the water, eh? Of course. Because Why I don't want to clean my bike. Yeah. <laughs> so there's a little bit of lane which is not wet. And we don't go there. Today is probably the most boring vlog we ever did. Because we can only show traffic. <laughs> Sanim, we have to entertain the viewers somehow else. Should I dance? <laughs> can you tell a joke? Ah. No joke. <laughs> uh, how can we entertain you guys? <laughs> Once we're done with the ride, Sanim will dance for you. I can no. dance now. Okay, dance. By seeing a lot of traffic, I am feeling very happy, so I dance. <laughs> this is your dance? Yeah, <laughs> when I dance. Okay, so Once we this arrive. This is the chicken dance. See, the chicken moves like this. Oh yeah, <laughs> man, the murgi dance. Murgi dance. <laughs> Finally, you start believing in the murgi squad. Yeah. This is the alternative way. Sanim, no. don't you want to go there? No, I will find another alternative way. No worries. I'm now it gets like a water slide action. Little yeah. splashy splash time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, and from those shops it smells so good. 
Can you smell it? Yeah, I'm Man, getting hungry. I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the worst thing. If you're so hungry for iftar, you cross the little shops. Yeah. I you can smell the chicken or the paratas or the roti or the kichuri or the birani. Passing the afternoon time is very hard in Ramadan. Just oh. waiting for the iftar. <laughs> With that time, I feel like I can eat everything of the world. <laughs> And imagine here will be more rain, not only like a little rain shower for five minutes, like it rained for 10 minutes. And it's already like this. Yeah, I don't know if you have a stewing system. Yeah, we have. We have a very good system, but the problem is. Very good, yeah, I see that. <laughs> but the problem is everyone is using politics, see? So, and they throw the trash and shit on the, all over the road. Yeah, so they put they throw the ro trash all over the road and then yeah. the sewing system gets stuck, everything. Yeah. And that's why the water is stuck here. I always tell everybody, please don't throw your trash on the road or on the floor. Nobody listens to me. Like, if you're not from Dhaka or if you're not from Bangladesh, you would think, damn, it rained for the last seven days. But it literally rained for 10 minutes, I swear you to God. Can blame only the government because the people is not good also. See Where this, is this is the problem. So water can't go underground yeah. and then you get this problem. Man, the bicycle riders, they are the real G's of Dhaka traffic. Going here is crazy enough, but maneuvering with a bicycle, it's just insane. We made it. Bro, we made it. Ah, at last. And this is the Buddhist temple, eh? Yeah, yeah. Whoa! This looks insane. And we have 30 minutes left, so we are perfectly in time, eh? Going back, so maybe we have to come tomorrow. Man, we can't come tomorrow again. We have no time. Yeah, but uh, we can do anything if there is that much traffic. I have tried five different ways, but all of them are booked, so... Tomorrow at 4. Tomorrow at 4, eh? Yeah. But we can show the Buddhist temple, eh? Yeah, yeah. It looks really cool, huh? Eh? Yeah. And there they normally give away the iftar, eh? Yeah. Here. They took the line here, from there to there, and all the people get their iftar here. Man, in the middle of Dhaka, a big Buddhist temple, yeah. and they even got their own little lake. Yeah, it's oh. nice. It's really cool. Yeah. That's the dirtiest water I've ever seen. But it's super nice. Imagine you can go you for can... a swim here. No, I don't see it. But uh, you think dirty, but maybe it's natural for the fishes or everything. Yeah, it's natural. Like if it's you... green. It's, it's greenish. It's not like dark. And you can right. smell it. It's natural if you want to die, probably. No, no <laughs> maybe I die, but not the fish. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> this is so big in the middle of Dhaka. Yeah, it's nice. Maybe we find a monk and we can ask him about what's happening here and obviously we do this series for 10 days now and I haven't even spoken to one imam what Ramadan is all about. I want to yeah. find a real imam and ask him but maybe we find a monk. Yeah. That would be also interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See here is the iftar distribution place. So you are the, but he's the president. Yes. And you're? Personal secretary. Ah, so, but you give away iftar food every day, eh? Yes. Every day. Every so, day. And how many people are coming? About 200. 200 people. Which people can come? All our poor people. Ah, all the poor people. All the poor people. Yeah. And in Buddhism you don't have Ramadan. Yeah. So why you do this then? Yeah, humanity. Humanity. Uh, yes, and uh, poor people, we want to help. Who, who cannot buy, cannot arrange the iftar. We want the iftar to the poor people. That's really nice. What do you think of uh, Ramadan? Yes, I think very good. Every, every year we are uh, giving the iftar to the poor people. I feel it's uh, very good. Yeah. Nice. Thank you, man. That's cool. What do you want to say? Uh, yeah, I think it's a very, it's a religious harmony among the uh, among the Bangladesh people. Like uh, before being a uh, Buddhist, Muslim, or Christian, or Hinduism, or anything, you are a human, right? So you have to uh, you have to look after the fundamental needs of every human. Like food is the one of the most important thing because you know hunger is the one of the most very bad things. So they are giving iftars because they are going to take care of about humanity. So I think we all should appreciate it. Yes. Sir, Tomar Namki. Amar Nam Bikku Rafula. 
Bikura. Nice yes. to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. You live here in this temple, eh? Yes. And you're Buddhist for all of your life, eh? Yeah. You live I in love Bangla. Buddha. Ah, but you live in Bangladesh, yes. right? And all of, most of the people are Muslim, eh? Yeah, Muslim. Ah, so how how is it to live in Bangladesh as a Buddhist? Bangladesh is a Muslim country. No problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. So yeah. if you meet the other Muslim people and Muslim brothers and sisters, it's no problem, eh? No problem. <laughs> Can you show us the temple a little bit? <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. That's the nice part of our Ramadan series, yeah, right? Yeah. So we try to show you everything about the Muslim and Ramadan, but from here and there, we also in a we were in like a church, in a Christian church. Now we are in a Buddhist temple. So that probably means Ramadan is also a time for all the religions to yeah. come together. Eh? Yeah. That's nice. Uh, that statue came from Japan. There. Yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. It's really big in real life but on the GoPro it looks very small. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this one is the Bi Barmiji style and Thai style mix. What is inside this? Otis Dipankar Hall. It's like a residence I guess. Yes. Ah. Oh, okay. He's a kind of prophet in Buddhist, like Atish Dipankar, so his body is remaining things and some things are remaining here and some books of him. Really? Yeah. Can we check? Meeting? Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, there is a meeting next going time? on, but next time we can go. Oh. Nice dogs, eh? They look very healthy, man. Normally, you don't want to touch the dogs, eh? Huh? I love dogs, but I don't want to touch because, like, they are dirty. Yeah, but they need love. Come on. I never been to a real Buddhist temple with like a private monk as a guide. <laughs> what a nice service. The best thing of this place is, right? They build it around this massive tree. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay, here. Whoa. The biggest lying Buddha I've ever seen, eh? And here, uh, normally you do the meditation, eh? Yeah, meditation. So this is a meditation room normally. Now it's full of water. It's on the rain. Okay, thanks man. So we just learned there is no fish in the lake, eh? Because they put it all to the ocean. <laughs> and why did they do it? Because the uh, water is going polluted. <laughs> <laughs> the water was so polluted and all the fish were dying. I told you, man. <laughs> bye bye. A classic uh, Murgi squat Ramadan day. You are still on the Murgi squat. <laughs> we have a plan and then in the end everything comes totally else. But think it was still a good day, huh? Yeah. Uh oh. There's a big storm coming. <laughs> oh, nice, there it was the lightning. Okay, rain is getting too crazy. So we had to stop, but we stopped at the perfect place. Perfect. This is perfect for waiting in the rain. No. Yeah. I mean, that's the perfect place to wait, huh? Yeah. Four alu chop. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Four, uh, fourteen. Yeah. Alu chop. And what are you eating? Kolija pita. Like it's a pita made with beef kolija. Oh, and what is this? Alu chop also. Mm. And it's biguni, yeah? Biguni. Nice. Chula. Can I just take and try? I just take it? Yeah. I don't have to tell them to pack it? No. I just stand here, take it and eat it. Yeah. And then at the end I pay, or what? <laughs> mm. And we got new followers, huh? Why are we waiting new followers? Huh? Beautiful Bangladesh. Oh, nice. <laughs> I like you. I like you, man. Okay, so what should we say, man? We had some different plans, but still today it worked out, eh? Yeah. We went to the place where we got the free after. We went to the Buddhist temple. Yeah. And now we went to those nice people. 
So, plan for tomorrow. Today we showed a Buddhist temple, but it's still Ramadan. Yeah. It's still Muslim. It's still the time of the Muslims. So, tomorrow we have to go to a mosque again. And you wrote in the comments, we have to go to the national mosque. The name is? Baitul Mukarram Mosque. Baitul Mutter. Baitul Baitul Mutterkon. Mukarram. Mukarram. Baitul means house. And Baitul Mukarram. Mukarram. Mukarram is the Baitul. name of the god. So, 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 tomorrow we go to Baitul Mukarram Mosque, the yeah. national mosque of Bangladesh. Yeah. Yeah. One of the biggest mosques, eh? Yeah, yeah. And we go there and we show you everything and of course we do our prayer there. Yeah, yeah. So see you tomorrow.